ULM softball, we're back in action Sunday afternoon, looking to sweep Georgia State in the doubleheader as Saturday's contest had to be postponed due to rain delay. The Warhawks finished game one, uh, game two, one to zero. Shortly afterwards, ULM softball team honored its five seniors and their family members participated in the creative ceremony first pitch. Senior Ad Adriana Chavez uh, got the ball rolling in the circle, pitched five innings and combined for two strikeouts. Georgia State takes its round in the circle. ULM at the plate. Campbell Salmon singles to left for the base hit. Then next batter up, Aslan Ard sends the ball into the sky and over the fence for the two-run bomb, getting the Warhawks on the, bo on the board early. ULM will go on to win 6-2 and sweep Georgia State for the series. The Warhawks travel down to Lafayette to wrap up conference play with the Raging Cajuns Thursday, May 4th, first pitch at 6 p.m. All right, Lady Texas softball battle on the diamond against Charlotte as the Niners tied the series after Saturday's 8-1 win. In Sunday's series finale, the game was tied at one apiece. Lady Texas rallied in the fifth inning and battled in the circle to force extra innings. Allie Floyd started the game pitching for a 4-4-2 innings and finished the day with giving up one run on three hits to Charlotte. Brooke M relieved Floyd. She allowed four hits and two unearned runs while striking out one and finished the contest pitching four innings later in the ninth. Charlotte with two runners on base and no outs. Ellie Chauncey hits a sacrifice fly and Bailey Vinoy and Michaela Mitchell takes it to the house after an error. Off an error and extends the lead 3-1. Lady Texters gave it one last swing in the bottom of the ninth and Charlotte Sam Grease closed the game sending all three Texters back into the dugout and wrapped up the game for the final 3-1 and overall series 2-1. The Niners improved to 14-6 and in Conference USA play and the Lady Texas currently sits in fourth and fifth place with a 12-9 record in conference play. All right, Grambling Baseball back on the Diamond Sunday afternoon as the G-Men continue the battle, staying in control in the top spot in the SWAC West Division. Grambling dominated at the plate, bottom of the second inning with Trevor Hatton. Three-run moonshot pushed its lead 6-0. Then third inning, Grambling freshman Chris Marcellius hits a solo shot over the left field wall, making it 7-0 for the Tigers. Perry View will find themselves on the scoreboard with two Panthers crossing through the plate with unearned runs in the fifth inning. And then in the bottom of the seventh inning, Trevor Hatton hit a two-run homer. His 11th of the season pushes GSU's lead to 10 runs, and game will get called as Grambling State remains in the top spot after defeating second seed Perry View A&M 12-2 and completes the series 2-1 overall. Grambling State returns to action on Wednesday as the Tigers travel to Texas to take on Stephen F. Austin. All right, number one, Clearboard Christian and high school playoff softball defeats St. Joseph 4-1 in the state championships, and number four, Kaplan upsets number one, Sterlington with a 4-0 shutout.